Hi. Now, in this question, we've got to find the set of values of x for which 3 divided by x plus 3 is greater than x minus 4 divided by x. And to solve a fractional inequality like this, there's generally two methods that we can use. One is a graphical method where we sketch the graph of, say, y equals 3 over x plus 3 and the graph of y equals x minus 4 over x. And we compare the two graphs and look for values of x where this value is greater than this value. Now, that's one way. The other way is to remove the two fractions here, the x plus 3 and the x. And it's not by multiplying both sides by x and x plus 3, purely because these two values can be negative, And that would mean that we'd have to reverse the inequality sign. Now the purpose of this tutorial is to show you how we can do it by the method of removing the x and the x plus 3. But if you'd like to see the graphical method then you can just click on this link here and it will take you to that. Okay, so if you'd like to uh, have a go at this by the method where we remove these two fractions, the x plus 3 and the x, then uh, I'll give you a moment to pause the video if you want to have a go as I say and uh, come back when ready you can either fast forward to the end to check your solution or you can uh, see my work solution as I take you through it. Okay welcome back if you had a go. Now I did say then that to handle something like this we can't multiply by x and x plus 3 to both sides. What we can do though is just multiply both sides by a positive value and that would mean that the inequality doesn't reverse. So in other words if we take our two fractions here 3 over x plus 3 and x minus 4 over x then what would that positive value be? Well we want to remove the x plus 3 and we want to remove the x so why don't we square both these values and we've got ourselves a positive value. So if we multiply both sides then by x squared and x plus 3 all squared then this is essentially what we're going to be working with. And now I can see that I can cancel out x plus 3 with the x plus 3 in here. I can cancel out this x with an x in x squared. And what does this leave me with? Well, I've got 3x squared then multiplied by x plus 3. And this is greater than, and I'll put the x at the front here, x times x minus 4 multiplied by x plus 3 all squared. Now what I can do now is subtract this term from both sides. And at the same time, noticing that I've got x in both of these terms and an x plus 3 in both these terms, I can pull that out as a common factor. So I've got x multiplied by x plus 3. And then if I put a big square bracket here, we've got 3 times another x, 3x there. That will give us this term here. And remember we're subtracting this term but if I pull out the x and the x plus 3 then what I'm going to be left with is x minus 4 multiplied by another x plus 3. Okay so we've got that and this would be greater than 0. So what I'll do next is we'll just work on the square bracket and I can see we'll leave the 3x there but if we expand these two brackets we end up with minus and then we're going to get x squared and then we've got plus 3x minus 4x that's minus x and then we've got minus 4 times 3 which is minus 12 and then we've got greater than 0. So cleaning this up further we've got x multiplied by x plus 3 and then I can see that we have got, well, if I go minus minus 12, that's going to be plus 12. And then I've got 3x minus minus x, so that's going to be plus 4x. And then I've got the minus x squared. And that's greater than 0. 
Now I can factorize this quadratic factor and I can see that we're going to have then x times x plus 3 multiplied by, well I have two brackets here and in these brackets it will be 6 and 2 to give me the 12 and then we'll have minus x there and we'll have plus x there and that checks out because we've got 6x minus 2x which is the 4x and then you've got minus x squared and this is greater than 0. Now if I was to draw the graph of y equals the left hand side here, let's in fact put this down okay, we'll just put that we've got y equals x times x plus 3 multiplied by 6 minus x multiplied by 2 plus x. Then this is going to cross the x-axis at four points. We'll call those points the critical values because we're dealing with an inequality here. Those points would be x equals 0, there'll be x equals minus 3, so I'll just have minus 3 there, it'll be 6 and it'll be minus 2. Okay, so when it comes to sketching our graph, we'll just have a set up our axis, something like this. Got our x axis here, y axis here. Our critical values then are at minus 3, minus 2, and at 0, and at 6. Now we've got a negative quartic here. I can see we're going to have a negative, we've got a negative x to the power 4 coming up if we were to expand this. So a negative quartic is going to start by coming up from down here, okay? It's going to come up through the minus 3, through then the minus 2, round here, through the 0, and then down through the 6, something like that, okay? It's not drawn very well, but uh, and not necessarily um, to scale, but uh, essentially it will be that kind of shape. And what are we looking for? Well, we're looking for where this left-hand side, which I've denoted by y, is greater than 0. And y is greater than 0 when you take any value of x between minus 3 and minus 2, this part. And it's also greater than 0 for this part of the curve here, for values of x between 0 and 6. So just to recap then, we can see that therefore from the graph, our solution set for y being greater than 0 is going to be when x lies between minus 3 and minus 2, so minus 3 and minus 2, or when x lies between 0 and 6. And that's our solution set. Alright, so don't forget the other way that you can uh, work this particular inequality out. It's the graphical method and as I say you should be able to see a link say up here that will take you to that video.